Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keandra, also known as Key. And if you are new, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell button so that you'll be notified every time that I post a new video. Today's video, I am going to be doing a makeup challenge. And this makeup challenge is going to be using only Dollar Tree products. So this is gonna be full face using Dollar Tree makeup products only. I never really used Dollar Tree makeup products besides like eyeliner and mascara and things like that. So yeah, this is gonna be quite interesting. I'm not even sure if all of the products I got is gonna be considered a full face. I'm pretty sure it's not because there's a lot of products that Dollar Tree doesn't have. So I did get some foundation and concealer and stuff like that. I am fair skinned, but Dollar Tree does not have the best range of foundation obviously they don't even have dark foundations at all and i'm not even sure this foundation is even gonna work for me first thing i'm gonna go in with is something to moisturize my face i couldn't find anything at dollar tree like a primer or anything like that so i'm gonna be using my coconut oil moisturizing cream this is actually from the dollar tree but i did not buy this today this is my everyday moisturizing cream that i use so I'm just gonna use about this much. So I'm not cheating on this challenge. This is a dollar and this is from Dollar Tree. So I am going to be using the LA Colors Eyeliner and Brow Pencil. I use this eyeliner anyways. So I'm just restocking because my other ones are getting pretty Short. Usually I brush my eyebrows out so that I can get them the way I want them to, but Dollar Tree didn't have that either and I don't want to cheat on this little challenge. So I guess I'm just going to have to fill them in the way that they are without brushing them out because I don't have a tool to brush them out. I guess that doesn't look too bad. It's just a little dark on the outside. And visualize things coming to me that I want drawn in or whatever. Drive home and think, oh, I do have these things. They're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. So I wrote myself a check for $10 million. Yeah, this isn't working without me having to brush my eyebrows out. But I guess I'm just going to leave them like this. So now I'm going to be going in with their concealer, LA Colors Concealer, which is Buildable Cover. And this is in the color beige. So this is how that's looking. I never used any of their concealer before either. So, so this is how the concealer looks. We're just going to see if I can car them out with this applicator, which I highly dealt. know guys I don't know about this okay now I know this eye is probably gonna come out horrible Okay, so now that I have the concealer around my eyebrow, I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild Smoky Liner Brush to kind of blend it out. I couldn't find anything else, any other brushes they had to do this. So this is the only kind of brush that I can use in order to do that. So I'm just gonna use this brush to blend it out.
I am going to go in with the foundation, which I'm kind of scared about, actually. So I have this LA Colors Liquid Makeup. This is the darkest one they had, which is tan. Uh, I didn't find any of those beauty blenders that they usually have. So I got some of these cosmetic wedges. It has 28 of them in here. I'm not sure if I need to wet them or not. I have this little wedge. And this is the applicator of the foundation. So I'm just going to put it on my hand. So this is how it's looking. My arm, well, yeah, my arms and hands are darker than my face because I have freckles um, on my arms, shoulders, and hands. And a little bit on my face. But... Yeah, this is how that's looking. It might actually work. It might be a little... No, yeah, it might work. It might, it might. So that's what I'm going to do. Mm, I don't know now. Maybe I needed to wet it. I don't know. It didn't say to wet it on the instructions. And this is like no coverage at all. Like it's not covering up anything. But I know I'm finna be looking real ashy real soon. It doesn't even look like I have one. Foundation. It doesn't even look like I have foundation on. We're gonna go back with this concealer. And I'm going to conceal under my eyes. I'm gonna conceal right here. My nose right here. This applicator sucks as well. Right here. My chin. And then like right here where my smile lines are. And then we're going to take that wedge, cosmetic wedge again and kind of blend that out. I look so, I look so ashy. Now I'm gonna go in with the liquid eyeliner. And when I first started wearing makeup, I was using this exact liner. I'm going to do a winged eyeliner. And winged eyeliners are my favorite to do. So far, I would say the eyeliner is good and the concealer is good. And the pencils. I forgot to put on the eyeshadow first before the eyeliner. So I got this LA Color Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow. If I had a primer to put on here, I'm pretty sure it would have went on completely better than what this is going on now. 
from a distance it doesn't look bad but I don't like it <laughs> I don't like it now I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild enhance and define mascara I guess So that's the mascara. I can't really tell the difference. I have these Wet n Wild eyelashes and it actually come with glue. I cut the eyelashes down and it's actually a clear glue. So I have the eyelashes on and I'm pretty sure they are going to be coming off in about two seconds. I got those on for the lip gloss. I have this Lip Duo gloss and lipstick. I'm probably not going to use the lipstick. I'm probably going to just use the lip gloss. So this is how it looks. Yeah, I'm not. So, I guess that is this is my final product of using only Dollar Tree products. I can currently feel the eyelashes like rising up. The eyelashes were good. I just wouldn't use the the glue. Other than that, the eyeshadow would be good if there was like an eyeshadow base or primer or something on the eyelids first. But Dollar Tree doesn't have any prom or anything like that. So I think for me what I liked was the eyebrow pencil. I like the eyeliner. I like the lashes, not the glue. The eyeshadow was fine. And I think that's pretty much... Oh, and I like the concealer. And that's pretty much it. I don't like the foundation. I look greasy, streaky. It doesn't cover anything. And plus... This is the darkest foundation they have. No. But yeah, that was my Dollar Tree makeup challenge. As you can see, you can kind of see right here, it's kind of like ashy looking. And I'm pretty sure if I was to take a photo with Flash right now, I'm going to be looking like a ghost or a glazed donut that has dried up or something. But yeah, that was my... Dollar Tree makeup challenge. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you ever tried a challenge yourself just using Dollar Tree makeup products. I like the look with the eyeshadow and the lashes, but the foundation, no. If I use my own foundation, it'll probably look really, really good. But yeah, that was my makeup challenge. Make sure to comment down below, like this video, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.